Shoop 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 bidu bidu shoop 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 bidu bidu. Morning, good morning, rise and shine. Hi everyone, welcome back to Mads About Beauty. This time round, I am trying to get a good night's sleep. This is my holy grail. I used to just sleep for hours on end. In fact, being awake was my problem when I was younger. The older I get, the harder I find to switch off. So I'm now going to go and talk to Dr. Guy Meadows and see if he can let me in on a couple of secrets that might make my sleep quality a bit better. Some of the key things about sleep are just getting the basics right. So firstly, making sleep a priority. I mean, carving out enough time to achieve what's called your biological sleep need. Mm -hmm. And you know you're getting enough sleep for yourself if you wake up feeling refreshed. Well, keep your timing as aligned to that natural timing to you as possible. 9.37 and I've only just finished work. I'm lying on the sofa with my dog and he's so comfy. This is when I need to make the decision to go and have my bath. I'm gonna do it in a minute. The bath definitely relaxed me. I'm just going to read until I feel really sleepy. I slept really well. One issue last night and it said I felt a bit warm. I've got this new blanket that's really warm. Um, and the heating's on too high. So I think today I'm gonna to focus on getting my sleep environment right. When it comes to sleep, it's important to ensure that our bedroom environment is cool, calm, quiet and dark. This is my bedside table, the bed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some things away. Memory foam pillow, I hate it. This is coming out the room now. So I couldn't resist buying some milk chocolate. I'm gonna have a little bit now. It's like 5 p.m. Just making sure that you're eating a healthy diet. So you know, sort of, and uh, when it comes to the night time, making sure that it's light and healthy, leaving at least a couple of hours between eating and sleeping will help to encourage sleep. Does that mean don't eat bar of chocolate after dinner? It does. No chocolate and no wine. That's gonna be the hard thing. This is my husband's wine. Tiny bit of telly. Bed feels so comfy and the whole room feels like a spa. Night two, bed definitely more comfy. Glad I got rid of the electronics. Glad I've brought in things that, you know, aid sleep and make the room just feel a bit cosier. I might book a massage, actually. The thing is, once you've had a massage right, you can just roll into bed. Humans are solar powered. Mm -hmm. Basically, we've um, evolved to live on a planet that rotates between light and dark. And so getting a little bit of natural uh, light exposure, especially in the morning, can be really great to helping you improve your sleep. Oh, it's another cold one. Thinking of that theory, I'm getting lots and lots of fresh air and daylight. That massage was unbelievable. I'm gonna go upstairs and just roll into bed now. I may have had the best night's sleep last night that I've ever had because I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember any dreams. I was just out. So it's the end of my sleep challenge and I have to say the thing I've learned is to prioritize sleep. Make it something that you are thinking about doing but don't get stressed about it if it goes wrong. I think that's sort of flip side of that coin. Glad that I've made my bedroom a bit less techie and a bit more kind of zen. Really encourage you to do it if you haven't done that and get your phone out your room. Dear God, that made such a difference. Thank you very much for watching and remember to follow us on Insta UK across all social media.